In the spring of 2012, our school district was moving forward with our strategic plan. At that point, 55 community and staff members got together, as well as receiving input from staff and community and doing our best practice research. As we moved through the process, we recognized we needed to step back and take a look at where do we really want to be going into the future. This is where our next generation Edina Public Schools was born. Well, there was a great deal of feedback from our community in terms of the alignment of the high school, and we had myriad options and feedback on each of these options. But at the end of the day, the community landed on the idea of the creation of a 9-12 high school. And I can sum up why in probably one word. That one word is opportunity. When you think about that, students will have the opportunity to experience an aligned 9-12 high school. And they will have every requirement they need under one roof. I think that one of the things that we struggle with the way it is now is knowing, because I teach mostly 10th grade, are the 9th graders that are placed into the different 10th grade options, are, are they placed according to their needs and according to their skill set. And so having the 9th graders in the building is going to make it much easier as we scaffold up the rest of the curriculum throughout the high school level. If we're going to count 9th grade towards graduation requirements, it stands to reason that we should be able to gauge their skills in the same building level. 9th graders, I think, coming up here to experience the May term for all, the last six days of school, I think are going to be um, engaging for them. And as a ninth grader, if you're able to engage for two or three years in a May term, by the time you're a senior, you should have a really good indication of what kind of internship or what you want to work on. And that can help them, you know, beyond EHS, through college, summer internships. So we really think that this opportunity to expand through May term is just going to open their eyes to what's out there. And I think that's great for all kids. I think one thing that worked really well was the support that we got from um, adults, teachers, parents. Um, but one thing that I think really could have enhanced it is um, having a smoother academic transition. I think just having an extra year with more community and um, being able to like share in that um, high school community which is very similar to a college community, it would allow um, for you as a student to understand what type of campus, what type of um, academic setting that you work best in. It will also offer opportunities. There are often times where um, I have to cast maybe younger looking people for plays and things like that. And there are times where um, it would be perfect for a freshman to be in the show. And um, it doesn't happen because we only are 10 through 12. So I know that there'll be some opportunities, just as many opportunities to participate in the four main stage shows that we do here at the high school. And then the other opportunities will be the opportunities to participate in some of the internships we do. As a ninth grader in the middle school, you feel kind of stuck, um, like a little held back, um, because you're so much older than the kids um, who are in sixth and seventh grade at the middle school with you. But I think there definitely is a mentality among the ninth graders, because Edina is one of the only programs that has six to nine, and all your friends at other programs are in the high school and take advantage of the sports and the social opportunities that. Um, they have in high school. That we recognized our secondary schools needed to make sure that they were ready and shaped for the future. Specifically, we we're looking at our ninth grade. Did our ninth grade programming really provide the necessary options and opportunities for all learners? And that question became a key point as we look forward to taking at what is the best grade level configuration for our school district K through 12. Middle schools at grades six through eight, that's fewer students, we can tailor instruction, tailor programming to really be developmentally appropriate and exploratory in nature, where that's really difficult in larger middle schools. I support having a true middle school because it truly meets kids' needs. Well, I think if we return to the true idea of a middle school, what we're returning to is reinforcing the ideas of team, um, which we have, um, but really using team planning, a flexible schedule that is able to flex with the needs of kids, um, that includes an affective curriculum as well as an um, academic curriculum that involves advisory components and that has an interdisciplinary focus. A true middle school experience is going to allow a core group of teachers to share the same group of students. I think middle school teaming is a part of what is part of the middle school. It's not quite a high school. Um, there's a lot more relationship building that happens at a 6-8 middle school level. When you're on a team, it allows teachers to meet together 
to discuss the same group of students to recognize um, patterns, habits, and for those teachers together to implement strategies to help every single student become successful. I think it would offer us a unique opportunity to really sit down with our students and, and map out different pathways for our students. And again, the best way to do that is to be able to get to know our students and to have fewer students to do that with. And so our academic planning, what we would see is we would be able to meet with our students more often and talk more about not only their academic future, but their career future as well. I feel I would have better benefited from being in the high school rather than the middle school in ninth grade uh, because of the like extracurricular stuff like the dances and sporting events, sitting in the student section, all that special stuff. And also we have the challenges of high school at the middle school in ninth grade, but we don't have that extracurricular piece to make us really feel like we're freshmen at the high school. Well, I think academically there are so many options for students in a 6-8 middle level. A 6-8 middle level has um, a lot of exploratory opportunities for students and it's exciting to think about what kinds of things we could provide for students, um, things that can help them to discover their talents and their interests, and um, in particular, classes in the elective area that can spark those interests and lead to future success. I feel like having the 8th graders take more of a leadership role will like help the 6th graders because when I was in 8th grade I kind of felt like I was ready to like lead the 6th graders and like help them because I've been two years at middle school level and I just felt that I could teach them like to like do their homework and just like give them experiences that I felt and then when I'm at the high school in ninth grade then the seniors then can teach me. Programming which is exploratory in nature helps inform their decision for course taking in high school and college. So middle school should be about all sorts of different opportunities to engage in like what is engineering about, what is art about, what is family consumer science, what are some things I can think about in terms of course taking and what are my passions. That framework will help us develop a program that is truly developmentally appropriate and um, innovative, creative, and really meets the needs of our learners. There's a certain mindset that you establish those milestone moments over that four year period of time. And you can actively engage and define what those moments are for our students and help them not only understand, but achieve those moments. So we really see the benefits going forward and we're just starting to uncover that as we design our vision for the future and our programming plan. But we like the thought of a 6-8 middle school, a smaller learning environment, a learning environment more focused on the student learner. We're seeing that trend not only here in Edina being beneficial, but again throughout our metro area and throughout the United States. The 9-12 program is the best launching pad for our young people as they look to the future.